I just got my new Wi-Fi to Ethernet adapter from Netgear in the mail today and I'm gonna show you how to set it up uh, if I can actually set it up now you may ask why would I need a device like this well you can use a device like this to plug in anything that you have in your house uh, a blu-ray player an HDTV uh, a Yamaha receiver which is what I'm gonna use it for anything that has an Ethernet port on it but doesn't have Wi-Fi built into it this can help you uh, plug that device into your uh, network it comes with an AC adapter so you can plug this into the wall for power or it comes with a USB cable so you can plug it into your device if it has an extra USB port it also comes with a network cable and obviously the device itself is included in the box and it has some handy dandy instructions and it even comes and this is so nice of them with a little bit of velcro so you can attach this thing to the back of your entertainment center or wherever okay setting up the device is pretty easy you take the included ethernet cable and you plug it into the back of the device you plug the other end of the ethernet cable into your computer after unplugging your computer from your network you take the other included cable one of the power cables either the either the usb power cable or the ac adapter doesn't matter which and you plug it into either the wall or your computer to power the device up okay so the next thing you do is you open up your browser and you should see the netgear smart wizard like i do here over here on the left you'll choose your language mine is english then i'll click continue and then it sits here and this bar loads up the smart wizard is detecting my uh networks so here is mine the top one here i'm going to click that and then click continue i'm going to put in my passcode and click continue so typically the uh, passcode is the same passcode you use to log into your uh, wireless network when you're using your laptop or smartphone or whatever so once you do that the smart wizard connects to the existing network and it takes about two minutes okay now you're done with this step and you can shut your browser and disconnect your device from your computer okay the next thing I'm doing is I'm gonna attach this device to my receiver so I take the network cable and I plug it into my receiver and I take the AC adapter and I plug it into the wall that simple now I could take uh, the USB cable that they supplied and plug that into my receiver but I'd rather use the AC power in the wall. Once you plug it in, you should see all three of these lights light up green. That's a good thing. That means everything is working. And that's all there is to the installation of this device. And I decided to install it right here on the back of my receiver cabinet, which I think is a good spot for it, with the included Velcro, which was very nice and handy. I know I said in the title this would be a review, and I haven't really reviewed the product, so here's my quick review. I like the fact that it came with two power cables, uh, one for USB and one for plugging into an AC outlet in the wall. I like that it had a little piece of Velcro so I could install it wherever I wanted. I like how small it is and I like how easy it is to set up. And I like the fact that I've used it for hours and hours and I have had zero drops in connectivity. Pandora I've had running for hours at a time. Internet radio I've had running for hours at a time. I've had no drops and uh, I can say that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for something that's going to be consistent like that and this product has so far proven to be consistent for me now I bought it as an alternative to Yamaha's Wi-Fi accessory which is like the YMA10 or something like that that product is $100 and it received a ton of terrible reviews on Amazon Newegg everywhere I found it the reviews were really bad people said it dropped uh, connectivity all the time uh, they would complain that Pandora just quit working, uh, all kinds of complaints for it. it. It was really unbelievable. So I thought, you know, there has to be an alternative. And I found this. And this product rates really well everywhere I've looked at it. So I had to give it a shot. I spent the 50 bucks. I set it up. Setup was super easy. Anybody could do it. As long as you know your Wi-Fi password and you can plug and unplug a couple cables and click continue, you can set this thing up. In fact, um, what is it? There's a special setting on there, I can't remember what it's called, but if you just press the button on the device and press the button on your router, if your router has this feature, you can set it up like that without even doing all the steps that I did. It's super easy. 
So, and that's all included in the quick start guide they have with it. But it's easy, it's simple, it works, it's cheap, and it hasn't dropped connection for me, not even once. So I appreciate that. All in all, I give this product five out of five stars, and I hope it continues to be that way for me. If over time it starts to have any problems, I'll note that in the comments. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything to say, let me know.